Yeah, he did indeed, and gets off uh, to a flying start. Dan Bewley, just like Leon Madsen, gate number one, working a treat in the first two races. And uh, so quite clearly, you've got to make uh, hay while the sun is shining if you've got the inside gates early on. We do hope that the track develops, and we'll see riders being able to use uh, the full width of the track. So uh, heat number three is... Uh, here now and riders are up at tapes and we've got uh, one and two in the world going head to head here off the outside two gates jason doyle who has had an indifferent period just recently his league form has just dipped to touch so doyle is on the inside in red here alongside him gate number two in blue is kim nilsson rachel smarslick will come out of gate number three in white and freddie lingren off the outside gate in yellow big tussle there but jason doyle not quite at his best in the last couple of weeks uh, no, lost his way slightly with some of his setups. I think he's maybe been overthinking it a little, but uh, I'm really certain that it's not going to take him too long to find his best form. Pressure's on him. You almost expect it to win off gate one in these early stages. Oh, indeed. So the tape stop, he's made, a, uh, he's made a smashing jump. I mean, that was a superb start from Doyle. He hits the front. It's tight there with Smarslick and Lingwin battling hard, coming down the back straight. Smarslick just, just about getting his nose in front there. He had to be ruthless. Kim Nilsson now coming in there, and Freddie Lingwin was very much beaten up there down the back straight with that tough move from Smarslick, the championship leader. Now he's setting about uh, Jason Doyle, who used the advantage of the inside gate superbly well there keep your eyes on Smarslick he's looking very threatening in second place and Freddie Lingren working hard to try and get the better of Kim Nilsson yeah the Swedes battling at the back Lingren knows every point could be vital here in this Grand Prix Smarslick keeps having a look around the outside he can't quite generate the speed he needs out there but uh, Jason Doyle I can't see him moving off the line not at this early stage and uh, certainly Freddie Lingren continuing to put the pressure Freddie on Kim Lingren. Nilsson yeah he's got there Kim Nielsen just lifting at a vital moment, but Jason Doyle remains composed. That's more like it from him. And uh, the inside gate has won the first three races. But he did make a good jump as well. He dropped the clubs absolutely spot on. Hard charging ride from the championship leader, Smarsley. He forces his way into second place. He really doesn't hang about at all, does he? He came charging through. So Jason Doyle out in front. Three points for him, two points for Smarsley, one for Freddie Lingren. And Kim Nielsen, unfortunately, just missing out there. Just made a mistake late on in the race. But uh, nonetheless, Smarsley was the entertainer there. Yeah, without question, but... Uh question that man there Jason Doyle will be happy with that start uh, fantastic reaction without doubt actually reacted quicker than everybody Freddie Lingren off the outside makes a pretty good start too looks like he's going to have the run around the outside now of Smarslick but Smarslick <laughs> there you can see Freddie actually stands the bike up he actually doesn't realize anybody's making a charge then he realizes that Smarslick has to get out of the way Smarslick roars you think he's going to go straight to the line and says no hang on a minute I'll make, make sure you don't come around the outside of me I'll just move <laughs> over a bit back to the line because he can see Kim Nilsson's making well he had everything covered there he did indeed it was uh, quite a hectic moment from the race but uh, for Jason Doyle out in front he rode a solid four laps and comes away with uh, the three big points and starts his evening in fine style